Adding a dog to your home is an extremely exciting moment. It is also a huge commitment and deserves thorough research, planning, and thought to choose a breed that is right for you in your living space. If you live in an apartment, you might be wondering if you should only be considering tiny lap dogs. Are bigger dogs only meant for people with large houses and backyards? Hi there, and welcome back to another fun and informative video from Biscuit and Friends. If you're new to the channel, make sure to click subscribe, say hello in the comments, and become a part of our dog-loving family. In today's video, we're going to discuss our top 10 dog breeds to consider if you live in an apartment. We have some surprising options on this list, so be sure to watch until the end. Now, let's get started. Number 1. Greyhounds First up on our list is a dog you probably wouldn't expect. You're thinking, Greyhounds, aren't they practically the Usain Bolt of dog breeds? Well, yes, they certainly are. However, Greyhounds actually have a calm, laid-back personality, and they like to spend a major chunk of their time simply lounging around and relaxing. They do need regular exercise, just like any other dog, but they are perfectly content with short, intense sessions. They are not too wary of unfamiliar faces and also tend to keep their barking to a minimum. Usually, greyhounds are extremely well-mannered and gentle, which would ensure that your neighbors don't have any complaints about your fur-legged roommate. They also shed very little, so you wouldn't have to worry about finding hair in every corner of your apartment. Number 2. Bulldogs. Next up is the compact but mighty Bulldog. While these muscular chunkers have a history of bringing down the most ferocious bulls, the modern day Bulldog is gentle and loving. They are a fairly low maintenance breed and love spending their time relaxing. Bulldogs don't require intense exercise and would be perfectly happy with some regular brisk strolls. They are sweet, friendly, and loyal. And even though they can be highly protective of their families, the right training can teach them to be gentle with strangers and other dogs. Trained Bulldogs don't bark a lot, which your neighbors will really thank you for. However, do keep in mind that this breed does best in temperate climates. Extreme temperatures can cause discomfort and even physical ailments like overheating. Number 3. Basset Hounds Next up, we have the delightfully floppy-eared Basset Hound. Once known for their sense of smell and prowess at tracking small animals, this breed makes for a wonderful apartment dog today. They don't require much exercise, and a few simple walks a day will be enough to meet their physical requirements. Basset Hounds like to take a lot of naps, so chances are that yours will prefer the couch to the running trails. Even though they are highly loyal and affectionate, Basset Hounds are incredibly patient and independent and won't bug you for attention all day. Their small to medium size makes them a good choice for apartments, but be prepared for plenty of drooling and shedding. And like any good hound dog, Bassets do like to howl, which might not please the neighbors. But training, treats, and plenty of mental stimulation can keep the noise at bay. Number 4. Chihuahuas it's probably no surprise to see the pint-sized Chihuahua on this list. They are compact and low-maintenance dogs with very low exercise requirements. In fact, their recommended daily exercise needs can be met with a simple 20-minute walk. Chihuahuas do, however, have a reputation for being fiercely territorial and protective and very barky. But with the right training, these dogs make wonderful family and apartment dogs. Number 5. Basinjis in case the Chihuahua's yips and the Basset's howls are too loud for you, may I suggest you consider the Basenji. The Basenji might not be the most well-known dog around, for sure, but that doesn't take away from the fact that they make really good apartment dogs. Basenjis don't shed too much, are compact, and best of all, they don't even bark. In fact, they are the only dogs that don't bark, which has earned them the title of Africa's Barkless Dog. Basenjis have a reputation for being destructive when left alone for long periods of time, so consider crate training when you're gone for short periods and a dog walker or sitter when you'll be gone longer. Due to their small size, Basenjis have low to moderate exercise needs and would be happy to join you for long evening walks or adventures at the dog park. Trivia time out. Let's take a break for a trivia time out. We just learned about the dog who doesn't bark, the Basenji. However, do you know which dog is both blind and deaf at birth? Is it A. Pit Bulls, B. Cocker Spaniels, C. Poodles, 
or D, all of them? Pause the video right now and write your answer in the comments section down below. Now let's get back to our list of best apartment breeds. Number six, Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. This tiny dog makes for an ideal apartment dog thanks to its low exercise requirements and compact size. Cavaliers are usually people friendly dogs, so you won't have to worry about your dog not getting along with the neighbors. They are extra affectionate and love nothing more than cuddling with their owner. They don't bark a lot and they're not typically aggressive towards unfamiliar faces or other dogs. Despite their ultra fancy sounding name, Cavalier King Charles Spaniels are pretty low maintenance dogs. They need a healthy diet, a few short walks a day, and regular brushing of their beautiful coats. Add tons of love and affection and you have the ideal apartment lap dog. Number 7. Pugs. Next up on the list, we have one of the most popular dog breeds out there, the Pug. Pugs are typically lazy pocket sized dogs with low activity requirements. A short walk and some playtime would be more than enough to satisfy the lap dog's exercise needs. Pugs are usually friendly and non-aggressive towards strangers and other dogs. They are intelligent, loyal, fairly quiet, and obedient dog breeds that can be easily trained. Keep in mind, however, that despite their small size, they shed more than some other dogs. Fawn Pugs have a thick double coat, which needs regular brushing and maintenance. Black Pugs have a single coat and they are significantly less prone to shedding than their fawn and apricot counterparts. Number 8. English Mastiff Okay, hear me out on this one. English Mastiffs are pretty much as large as dogs get, but contrary to popular belief, they can make excellent apartment dogs. English Mastiffs are usually extremely polite dogs, which has earned them the title of Gentle Giants. Despite their loyalty and protectiveness toward their family, these dogs don't go around troubling strangers unless they sense an immediate threat from them. The dogs are giant, but their exercise needs are not, and a 30-minute walk is enough to tire them out. They don't mind being left alone and probably won't waste their energy with unnecessary barking. However, these dogs do shed and drool a lot, so make sure to have a vacuum cleaner and a rag at the ready. Lastly, only consider getting an English Mastiff if your apartment has an elevator. Climbing flights of stairs can cause or worsen joint issues in a dog of this size. Number 9. Great Danes If you're not convinced about sharing your apartment with an English Mastiff, how about a Great Dane? Great Danes are massive, there's no doubt about that, but Great Danes are also pretty lazy and have a low activity requirement. They typically nap around 14 hours a day, and a few light to moderate intensity walks for exercise will be plenty to satisfy these giants. Great Danes, like the English Mastiff, are highly affectionate, well-mannered, and calm in temperament. Their size can be intimidating to people who don't know them, so be sure to introduce your gentle giant before approaching wary neighbors. Trivia Time Out. Let's reveal the answer to today's Trivia Time Out question. Which dog is both blind and deaf at birth? A. Pit Bulls B. Cocker Spaniels C. Poodles or D. All of the above The answer to this is D. All of them. Every dog is blind and deaf at birth and their eyes and ear canals don't develop fully until a few weeks later. Did you know this? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Boston Terriers Last but not least, we have the tiny Boston Terrier. Thanks to their temperament, size, and exercise needs, these breeds make ideal apartment dogs. They are intelligent, loyal, and friendly with just about everyone, including strangers. They have a quiet nature, and even when they do bark, it's typically a low woof instead of a loud bark. A few daily walks and lots of indoor playtime with you will be enough to satisfy this breed's activity needs. They are low maintenance, shed minimally, and love lounging around, which makes them the ideal choice for even the smallest of apartments. Remember, getting a dog can be a 10 to 15 year commitment, so be prepared to make sure your dog is in a suitable living environment for its whole life. This might mean choosing an apartment based on your dog rather than the other way around. Some apartments don't allow dogs at all, and some restrict certain breeds like pit bull mixes or Akitas. Provide your dog with a safe, healthy, loving home, and he'll pay you back with unconditional love for many years to come. Be sure to subscribe to Biscuit and Friends for more videos just like this. 
make sure to mash that like button. We'll see you next time.